Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna first dab this purple thing and just brush on your eyes, just like that. You gotta make sure you get in the outer corner as well because it just makes it look really purpler because we've got a purple brush. And you just gonna this a couple of times even though it makes no difference at all. Gonna go across, make a little little flick with it just to add a bit of. Yeah, just gonna repeat the same thing about six times, and then we're gonna use this very shiny little palette thing, and we're gonna use this colour and do exactly the same thing. Don't know what point in doing the same thing twice is. But there you go. We're gonna do go across the eye and just keep making little flicks, make it look very pretty. And there you go. Then we're going to use a different colour. We're just going to go across the palette and just keep using every single colour by the looks of it. And go across the eye. We're not going to go to the bottom because it just doesn't look right. So you just want to go above. There you go. Just keep, keep doing the same thing. Blend it a little bit. Not too much because otherwise it doesn't look right. Keep tapping it above the palette box just to make it look even better and there you go, you're going to do the same thing six times because it just doesn't work otherwise you can't have too much on the brush so you got to do it 16 times then keep making a wing over and over again there you go, just once more maybe with the same colour and in this corner, oh there you go, we're going to go back to that colour now and we're going to do the same thing again go over the top and uh, again, use the same one. I'm gonna just keep keep doing the same thing, even though there's no difference to the eye. Oh, we're gonna use a, a black colour now. Tap it on the top again. Now this will look like someone's punched us in the eye, and this will give us a lovely black eye effect, which is really what we want to do. We're going to focus it in the inner crease and keep going all across the eyelid and then go back to that colour, tap it on the top of it again oh go higher this time though, go towards the eyebrow bone try and match it with the eyebrow and we're just going to keep going over and over again, we're going to go back to this colour again now and do exactly the same thing because it just looks, oh we're going to use a different one Oh. This one's a lovely goldy kind of colour, and we're just going to do exactly the same things what we've done with the other ones. It's a real special technique, and we're going to go back to the same one again. Go back over the eye, because it's making such a difference. <clears throat> oh, we're going to use a, a, a brighter colour. Oh, there you go. Now we're going to go on the, on the lower bit of the... I can't even remember what it's called. Oh, that's the one now. Oh, we're going to make a wing. We're going to make a long, dramatic black wing. And then we're going to put some more black on the eye just to make it look very gothic. I'm going to keep doing this over and over again. Use a slightly different colour and do the same thing. <clears throat> and again. And again, oh no, now we're going to get some of this uh, creamy coloured stuff, or banana, and we're going to go underneath the wing and draw a couple of lines going downwards. So this just looks like we've got a little eagle wing. Oh no, we're going to tap it down with the finger and poke ourselves in the eye of our nail. And then we're going to put some fake eyelashes on because the real ones we have aren't good enough. Want to make sure you don't put it on your eye because it will hurt. You clamp it down properly. And you want to make sure that your eyes are very wide open so you can see what you're doing. <laughs> and then we're going to use this foundation. We're not going to use anything other than our finger to put it on that. We're going to use blodges and little smidges. 
or we're going to use this um, tough brush, this massive tough brush, and really batter our face with it, just to get it nice and smooth. Really work at it on your, on your forehead. <clears throat> and we're going to add a couple more because it wasn't quite dark enough. There you go, you want to lift up your ear, get it right underneath there, all over your nose, mouth. And we carefully don't get it in your eyes though because it's just took us three days to do those. And keep pulling faces because it helps um, blend in properly. And then you want to use these two, naked and something. Gonna use just keep making patterns on our face just to add some dimension. I'm gonna oh, and then we're gonna use this beauty blender. It might be damp, it might not be. Keep pulling faces again because it helps it blend it really, really well. There you go, look at that. Then we're going to use this thing, put that right underneath the eye whilst pulling some very scary faces because that just it just tops it off completely. And oh, lovely watching! And we're going to start to paint our face with this very dark brown and down our nose just to make it look slim line and across our chin look at that, that's beautiful and then we're going to use our miniature tough brush to drag it down I'm not going to blend it properly though because it looks beautiful like this we're going to go across the nose as well just on one little bit and then we're going to use our beauty blender again to attack our face you only want to dab just dab, 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 dab. And then we're going to get our big tough brush again and do it across the chin and drag it down to our neck. And then you're going to brush all this powder off. And just keep brushing and brushing. Don't want none to be left on your face. Then we're going to use this banana and this massive brush. That covers our complete face. And just keep patting and patting and wiping. Just wipe everything off that we've just done. I'm going to use this. I don't know what that's called because a lot was in it. And then we're going to use the same shade, just on a different palette. And do it underneath our eyes, on our nose, on the chin, just everywhere where we've put that powder. Then we're going to use a darker shade. Because that matches our skin colour. <laughs> Keep brushing that on your forehead, your cheeks, all over your neck. And then we're going to use a different colour. And we're going to contour. Because contouring is the way. And then we're going to blush our cheeks and pout because we're a model. And that's the way to get it on properly. There you go, look at that, just dab it all on. And we're going to get the same stuff and do it underneath our cheekbone. Because we want that to look cut. Look at that, that is perfect. And we're going to do our bottom eyelashes because you can't forget those. Got to do those properly. Oh, then we're going to use this thing. I don't know, oh, this highlighter. And we're going to really highlight our face all over the cheek to blind people I'm going to come onto our forehead kind of on your cupid bow and your lip all over your nose and then you're going to brush away everything that you've just done again you're going to poke yourself in the eye again and in the other eye because you can't forget that eye <laughs> and then you're going to keep going 
Okay, Davini. And then you're gonna do some stuff to your eyebrow again. And then you're gonna brush your eyebrows. Because you can't have none of them pointing to it everywhere, just ruin the whole entire look completely. Then we're gonna apply this lipstick. Beautiful pink lipstick, same colour as our lips. I'm gonna make some funny mouth things. Just keep going over it and over it. Because once oh, and then we're gonna go over it again with something else because that's just gonna make a massive difference. <clears throat> exactly the same colour as well. Can't just do stuff once. And then we're gonna spray ourselves in the face. Because that always helps. With something wet. And then we're gonna pose. And pose. And keep posing. Look at the camera. Give a little smile, keep posing. <coughs> and we we'll just pose again. And give short looks at the camera and keep posing. There you go guys, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave comments as well. There you go, I hope you enjoyed it. It's just going to um, stand this through it just so you can write it all down. If you liked it. Click the big thumb. And if you didn't, well, fair enough. We're just gonna uh, just wait until this finishes. And don't forget to follow me on all social medias. Cause I'm amazing. Thanks, guys. <laughs>